I say this is our oldest son, Jason Groves. Uh, I'll just we'll have a few words to say to Josh. Um, I'm, uh, I'm the oldest of the seven, and just real excited that today I get to be here. Um, you know, Josh, ever since he's been little, he's uh, been one of my favorites, uh, if, not, if, not, if not my favorite. And uh, anyway, um, he, uh, he's the kind of guy that he's always, he's always there for you. Um, you know, whenever he's lived in Abilene and I've had projects I've needed help with or just needed somebody to be there, he's always uh, very dependable and just, he's always there to show up and he's always there to lend a hand and he's uh, really always lived a life for others. And um, a lot of people have prayed uh, for this day uh, that he would confess his, uh, uh, his life to Christ and, and uh, be baptized and, and um, it's real exciting for me because he already uh, lives the life and now he's going to... Um, give that life to God and let God take over and, and uh, really let the Holy Spirit uh, guide his actions. And uh, Over the last year, he's um, been able to go to Haiti a couple times, and he's been able to see um, a lot of people who have a lot of need. And, and over the last, um, last few months, he's been able to share some of his dreams with me and, and uh, just couldn't be more proud of, of what's on his mind and where God's leading him. Uh, even a couple days ago, before we knew he was going to get baptized, uh, he was telling me over the phone... Um, that he wanted to give his life to uh, helping um, build in countries that were uh, devastated, third world, third world countries that were uh, needing, uh, needing help, and he wants to devote his life to that. Whether it's Haiti or another country, uh, he wants to help people uh, in need. And so I thought that was a pretty, pretty cool thing to live for, and I think that's really awesome that, that God's put that on his heart and that uh, Josh is willing to, um, to give, give up his life for uh, such a, a great thing. So... Just real excited to be here, and real proud of you, Josh, and um, just really, uh, you're an inspiration to me and, and Amber. Uh, Amber couldn't be here, but uh, we talk about Josh and his faith and how it's insp inspired us in, in many ways, so just real excited about this day. Okay, well, I just wanted to tell Josh how much I love you and how proud I am of you and how I really, like, didn't ever know if this day would come because I just like doubted so many things in life and God has like shown me how he can work in miraculous ways through this experience and that he, anything's possible, you know, and you've come so far and it's really like taught me a lot through this and so I'm just really proud of you. Well, Josh is not somebody that everybody here knows. Probably only these guys right over in this area and these guys on this row know much about Josh. So usually when you're baptized, you are in a, a congregation with people that you've grown up with a lot of times. And so you don't know that he was a great athlete. You don't know that he was a, a fast kid, that he was one that carried the ball because he was so fast. In fact, he was born in 18 minutes from start to finish. First Labor Bay to the time the kid was born was 18 minutes. And he was the kind of kid that was always running around and hard to keep up with. And so he has been a real joy in our family. He's the fifth child, and he has been an inspiration to us in a lot of different ways. He is a handyman, like Jason mentioned. And for a long time, this family has gathered and prayed for him, as have, as have other people, that he would, that he would come to this day. And Jason mentioned how uh, he was just a good person, and he did so many things that were godly characteristics. But I said to him a few years ago, Josh, you do so many great things but it's all from your own power. You must be tired. And so now today, God gets the power of the Spirit and of God the Father and Jesus Christ and his brother. And so today, as he becomes our brother, not just our son, but our brother in Christ, then finally, Josh, you're going to be a little bit not so tired of that own power you've been putting in all the time and doing such a great job loving other people. These are some of the kids that he loves, and, of course, they, that's just a very small rep representation of kids that he reaches out to in the community. But we love you so much, and we have waited for this day like no other day. This is our last child in the family to become a Christian, but it's our, um, I think Josh, because of this waiting, has really made that kind of special place in our heart that Terry and I have, uh, they're all great days, but this is a day that, praise God, praise God. 
today we sang a song that talked about nailing your sins to the cross, and so I found a scripture that uh, I thought would be good to read. It's Colossians 2, 13 through 14. It says, When you were dead in your sins and in your sinful nature, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave us of all our sins, canceling the charges of our legal indebtedness, which stood against us and condemned us. And he nailed against us and condemned us. He has taken it away and nailing it to the cross. Thanks, guys. And aren't you glad that the rest of the Rose kids aren't here today? It lasts a little longer, I guarantee you. Uh, Josh, I've got a very important question to ask you. In fact, uh, not only are we witnesses, but the angels uh, in heaven at this moment are witnesses of what you will say. What is your belief about Jesus of Israel? I believe Jesus is the Son of God. Ready to live my life like Jesus. We're so thankful for that, Josh. Let's kind of turn, reorganize ourselves here. Josh, it is because of the fact that you believe that Jesus is the Christ, that He's the Son of God, that He's the Lord of life. Uh, and it's at this time that I'd like to baptize you into the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for the forgiveness of your sins. Amen. 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 